Julie. This is my sous chef, Lucy, who's been very experienced cooker. She's very Oh, yeah. Um, I've been baking cupcakes now yeah. for... I guess about a year I've been experimenting with different And I am so sorry that we have not been filming much lately at all. We haven't filmed in like seven months. It's hard it's to like get us both together. Exactly. And, and so cooking. we're going to bring the fall here because who knows when fall comes around if we'll be doing a cooking show or not. Yes, we will. We will. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to be making applesauce cupcakes and this is a great idea for after school snacks because it's actually called after school applesauce cupcakes. And it's good for kids, little kids, or adults, doesn't matter who you are. It, it tastes it's good, that's what she's trying to say. Exactly. And it's so loud right now. It's so loud in our house. Sorry, uh, yeah. uh hotel hell's going on over there, and I think the rosary's going on over there. Yeah. So I hope you actually try to, uh, try to make these out of your home, because they're really Oh, and here's the thing. We yeah. actually, for this recipe, we're going to be using the baby cake cupcake maker that we yeah. used on another video and if you don't have that just use like little mini um cupcakes and put it in the oven until it's golden brown and stick a toothpick in there and then if it comes out dry it's done yeah they sell a uh, little mini baking so anyways cupcakes. please stay tuned for our recipe adios for now So first you want to start out with the dry ingredients and you will need some all-purpose flour, about a cup of all-purpose flour. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Stop that one. And around two-thirds cup of brown sugar, uh, dark or light brown sugar, it really doesn't matter. And then finally, it has to be, uh, what do you call it when you pack the brown sugar down, pack it? I think you just call it pack it. Like you yeah, just pack it. And this is delicious. Look, nutmeg. I love nutmeg. Get your nose out of there. Okay. She's thick, so we don't want her nose too close in there. Sorry, but she's so <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm, like, I'm, I'm feeling a cold coming on myself. So don't look at me. I really do. But here's the thing. Cinnamon. Oh, I'm just making sure. I love cinnamon. Because I have a paprika bottle that looks just like cinnamon. I don't want to put paprika in it. So a teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon. For some you can add gloves to this recipe, but I do not like gloves. I just put the salt, the baking soda, and the baking and powder shot all in this little shot glass. And it's about a half, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of baking powder. I really don't have to explain because the directions are at the beginning of the show. So there you go. And guess what, guys? I have nothing to mix it with. So, Lucy, would you be so kind to get in there and give me something to mix it with? What do you want? Four whisk a whisk. A, a, a yeah. shoe, a spoon. A shoe. How can I mix it with a shoe? <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here when you said talk to the hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, here we have a whisk that I brought. Yes. And you're just going to mix it like this until it's well blended. Mm -hmm. I really smell that cinnamon or nutmeg. Do you like nutmeg, by the way? Oh, yeah, that's nutmeg. So I love nutmeg. What is the spice that you don't like? Cloves. I hate cloves. Sorry for the people who do like cloves. Mm -hmm. Nothing against cloves. It's just, it's so strong. You know what's good about an applesauce? Uh, this applesauce cupcakes, it's, there's no butter there. So if you can't eat dairy like us, it's kind of a substitute for butter. Oh, yeah. Applesauce, just like peanut butter is sometimes. So. Mm -hmm. Lucy, Yogurt. you go ahead and take a look. Do the dry, the wet, what? <laughs> the wet ingredients. The wet ingredients. Okay, here's the funny thing. What? You're going to need applesauce. <laughs> I know this looks like pumpkin puree. It's apples, and we did not have any applesauce, so guess what we did? We went the old-fashioned way, just like the pioneers would do, I guess. And we uh, blended it in a blender. We, how many apples did you use? Two. We so two apples, two For gallons. a half cup of applesauce. It's, yeah. It's better than the store-bought applesauce. Awesome. All right, so stick your yeah. apples in here. Then we have this concoction that Julie mixed. What is it? It's um, uh, apple cider. It's uh, no, uh, apple cider vinegar, grape uh, seed water, oil. grape seed oil. You can use any vegetable oil. It doesn't have. Okay, to it was vegetable oil, but she used grape seed oil. Right. So. And some water, grape seed oil, and cider vinegar. That's right. And then blend them all together. And there's no eggs in this recipe either. Look how awesome! Homemade. You guys are gonna love this. Really, it tastes amazing. It absolutely tastes amazing, even though I never had it before. <laughs>
<laughs> She's amazing. Because we like a look, I had applesauce muffins before. Come on. <laughs> but these are applesauce cupcakes. These are more natural because everything's organic and we made the applesauce ourselves. Exactly. Here, I'm giving you a little more. You know what? Yeah, what? I forgot to put my baking soda and salt in there. <laughs> Shame. All right, there we go. Just add that. Don't forget. Don't be like us. <laughs> Actually, don't be like Julie. There's Cubans in the house, guys. That's, that's where the Spanish is coming from. And we're Catholic, so. <laughs> Do you think it needs more water, or is this good? You know, I think... There's something a little bit fishy here. <laughs> Fungy. <laughs> no, always add a little bit more water if you need. Do you here. want more water? I can put more you water. You know, to use that filter thing, we have a filter. Yeah. The gray. Let filter. me go get some. Because it looks like you can use a little bit okay, more Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's delicious. And I can even eat it off the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. Hey, all right. That was me being ill in the background. I was fine. Okay, I need how much what you want. How much? Not that much. Just pour whatever you need. It's good. Once you get it all mixed in. Do you want to do some mixing? I can do some mixing. So we're gonna do the uh, use the baby cupcake maker. Let me go get that. This, what I love about this recipe is it's so quick. What is it? Only like five to seven minutes to make. Well, to bake. That's it. Oh my gosh, I love that smell. You can really smell the fresh apples. Delicious. So this is the baby cupcake maker. You can get it at Kohl's, Sears, Daisy Penny, anywhere. Yeah. They also have different sizes. This is the mini cupcake maker. There actually is one for regular size cupcakes. Oh, the cord is so short. What the? Do we have a problem? It's not going to make it, is it? <laughs> We're experiencing technical difficulties. Eek! <laughs> Pee -pee. Screw it. He's also watching us cook. I like the poo poo. <laughs> you are pooper. <laughs> it's filming. <laughs> <laughs> now you step on poo poo. <laughs> but you're still cute, so it makes up for the poo-poo. So now we're going to put this into the cupcake maker, and we're just going to use spoons. Spoons. Don't make a mess, Joy. Really. I am not. Oh, wait, this is her house. Don't make a mess. No, I'm just kidding. Be careful. You don't want to get it on the edge. Oh, okay. So you and wanna... don't fill it up too much because they overflow. Oh, that's right. I remember that from the, the yeah. banana. Right. Like that? This smells so good that I just want to eat the raw batter. You know what? I think it's not... You wouldn't even get sick with this batter. You wouldn't. There's no eggs in it. Well, there aren't there people who eat raw eggs? Well, there are, but sometimes there can be salmonella. But not likely, especially if they're organic cage-free eggs, the ones that we use. Yeah, yeah. Good. All right, so now we close it. And the magic so, happens. And you wait about five to seven minutes. Magic. Five to seven minutes. Is anyone timing? Until a toothpick inserted in the setter comes out clean. I wonder who invented that thing about sticking the toothpick. And we do have Stick. toothpicks. So okay. here's your toothpick. The big reveal. This is so cute. Comes out. Wait a second. <laughs> it's a little bit wet, but you know what? It doesn't matter because you can eat this recipe raw, so let's go ahead and get them out. <coughs> I think I'd rather have it a little bit under than over. Exactly. Let me get another. <laughs> you don't have to film this part. Come <laughs> in. Let him run free. Leave him 
You don't want to like grease anything or make it already be greased? I don't think you have to grease it. Sophomore year, started coming off. Oh my gosh. We're college kids. We go out all the time. I'm having my food tracker on my phone. I can figure out at what I'm having at the restaurant. So we'll see you next time. You know that I'm meeting. See ya. Bye bye. See ya. Adios. Adios. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> bye. <laughs>